and this is the node fractal design node 202 it's a mini itx build i do have an aces dual 3070 that i'm going to be putting in here uh, oc version that is a very thick card that's a thick boy and i'm telling you i don't even know if i'm going to be able to fit any fans in here i did pick up a noctua slim fan um, just one maybe try and see if I can sandwich that in there somehow if not and be able to suck in fresh air Rather than suck in regurgitated air from the case So we're gonna find out what's happening one bonus part about that will be that the GPU is so thick that it might just get right down to the fan area. The other option will be if I see that the thermals on the 3070 are not really good, then I'll just put together a nice undervolt um, profile, which I did with my 3080 as well, because it seems like all my cases that I'm working with are small, compact, and they're all, all always, the, the GPU is always uh, suffocating for some fresh air. So um, that's gonna be an option. I'm gonna get the parts out, and uh, let's see how this goes in uh, to the Note 202 in 2020. Okay, so we got the, uh, Noctua fan in there. This is a 15 millimeter fan. Just give you a little bit of low profile. I have no idea if this is gonna work out. I think it should because originally the little support piece I was using there is actually a little bit taller. Uh, yeah, it will compress it a bit, but still should work out. Everything on this part of the case worked out just fine. No problems, no fitment issues. Cable management, well, there's no cable management in this case. It's not about aesthetics. It's about, is it gonna work? Is it gonna fit? Can you bunch it up? Beautiful hack job I had to do here just to get the goddamn GPU to fit in there. I mean, you can see here, I really have to mangle it up. Basically, you need to bend down and cut all this back because it's designed for a, I think maximum 2.5, yeah. I believe a 2.5 inch card maximum in this card that we're using here today. This big boy right here, this big chunker here is about 2.7. Yep. Anyway, now we're gonna try and get it in. Okay guys, so it's finally done. Uh, the PC is put together and this has been a nightmare of a build. Um, I don't even know where to start. Honestly, I think I had more issues in the CPU compartment than I did in the GPU compartment. I knew I was gonna have issues here, so I was prepared for that. I was not prepared for the thermals and the issues I had in the CPU compartment. So as you can see, I have a low profile uh, Noctua cooler. Uh, I think it's like a 90 millimeter fan on top of a very low profile cooler. Uh, Noctua makes great stuff, but for whatever reason, with the design of this case, uh, when the cover is on, there's a pretty big gap here um, between the opening that the case has. So it's not really able to suck in that cold air and therefore it's just sucking in all that hot regurgitated air that's inside of the case. So what I ended up doing is just grabbing a basic 120 millimeter, 120 by 25 millimeter fan, uh, slapping it right on top of that cooler. There's no rubbing or touching of the fan blades with either of the fans. I was able to secure it by just grabbing a longer screw, removing one of the stock screws from the original cooler, putting in a longer screw with some washers and connecting it. I mean, it's not 100% secure, but it's not going anywhere once the, the case cover goes on. So um, as you can see, this card is way, way too big. RTX 3070 Aces Dual OC Edition. Two 8 pin power pins. This card is massive and not massive by length because lengthwise it's fine. It's 267 millimeters. Uh, the card slot uh, size is 2.7. Now, this case is designed to only work with something around 2.5, I think is the max. Um, well, it fits. Um, as you can see, it's also a big boy. It's wide. This is like 5.7. So um, you're, you're cutting it pretty close here once you put the PCIe cables in. I was able to sneak in a low profile Noctua 15 millimeter uh, 120 slim fan. Um, it went in, it is sitting on it, but not 100% on it because I was able to shove in this little rubber piece that came with the uh, Noctua cooler fan. So it's sitting on this. This is the part where uh, both fans have just a break in the middle of the of the uh, 
GPU, so there's no fan, there's no touching anything. It's just a straight, straight over through. Um, I was only able to fit one fan in there, um, just because there's a lot of interference here from the cable connection. Another hack job that I had to do was, <laughs> yep, because of the size of the card, I had to pull out the power, uh, power connector here and uh, connect it with some longer screws. So it is sticking out, but who cares? Because it's the back of the case. No one's going to see that. No one pays attention. It's all good. So with all that said and done, um, let me get the case cover on so you can see that uh, this Frankenstein build uh, pretty much uh, looks like what you would normally see. Okay, so with all that said and done, uh, there it is, the case. It's together. Everything fits. Something else to add when you are putting that 120 millimeter fan in there, you'll have to remove the stock dust cover because it will not work. Um, you will have to buy something and maybe slap on a magnetic one on the outside because there's no room left on the inside. Don't even bother trying to sneak something in there between that fan. I know it's been beaten to death on other videos and reviews, but having the case in the vertical format like this is going to net you much better thermals for the GPU and for the CPU. And that mainly has to do with the fact that heat rises and there are openings on top of this case that will allow for that mishmash of hot and cool air that's coming in from one intake and the GPU compartment to actually rise up and escape from the case regardless of how you have your setup. So this is the preferable way to set it up. If you are going to be placing the case uh, horizontally, um, then I can make another recommendation. So if you are planning on putting your case in this format horizontally, um, what you can do is just use the actual stand this way and stand it up on the middle, you're gonna get enough flow here for the GPU to suck in some cool air. And uh, yeah, I think uh, you can avoid some hassles for yourself. Generally speaking, these little giblet legs are just not enough clearance for um, high performance uh, hardware to suck in air. I mean, we were never designed, I mean, this case was never designed to have a, a G, uh, RTX 3070 put in here. Uh, so yeah, pretty much, uh, that's it. Okay guys, so I got everything set up. The PC is connected, um, it's running as it should. Temperatures are good, thermals are fine. I've got it inverted, like I told you, I was gonna put it on top of that uh, vertical case. I think what it's gonna end up happening here is I am going to probably just prop it up vertically like I have my sound bar there. It would make sense, I'll just put it on the other side. Pretty much, uh, now you just get to enjoy. That's pretty much what I'm gonna be doing. I got it connected to a 65 inch QLED 120 hertz panel with G-Sync compatibility, so <laughs> game on. I mean, that's what it's all about. And super happy it worked out like that. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you wanna know more about the build, let me know in the comments down below and I'll post as much information as I can that I, that I know about the build and have information about the build. Just sit back and game now. Thanks for watching.